Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Surgery Squad. And this one we are doing a carpal tunnel procedure. And so I thought about in the last episode that I'll put up a graphic warning. But this is pretty much the graphic warning that the game gives me, the player. Um, saying, before you scrub in the surgery, may contain graphic procedures inappropriate for children or squeamish adults. I am not gonna lie. I am a I am um, a bit scre squeamish, depending on the procedure. But uh, these games are graphically detailed, so just like in the last episode when we had to pull the gallbladder out through that tiny hole in the stomach, I was kind of like, ah, oh! <laughs> you just imagine, and the sounds, uh, they're the sounds are different. <laughs> you don't typically hear those kind of sounds. Um, like in hack and slash games, but this one is not hack and slash. Uh, so let's get started. And of course, surgerysquad.com is not a substitute for, for professional medical advice. That's pretty much to say, do not try this at home. I like how the load bar is making an incision. Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Limited Open Carpal Tunnel Release Surgery. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I will be guiding you through the procedure today. Carpal Tunnel Syndrome is characterized by a tingling numbness or pain in your hand, and sometimes forearm. It develops due to the swelling of a ligament in the wrist known as the transverse carpal ligament. The swelling of the transverse carpal ligament creates pressure on the median nerve in your wrist. This nerve is responsible for supplying feeling and movement to various parts of the hand. Performing repetitive motions with the hand or wrist over a long period is the main cause of carpal tunnel syndrome, and the condition is more commonly seen in women than men. Researchers have also discovered that other medical problems such as alcoholism, arthritis, diabetes, obesity, and infections could also lead to carpal tunnel syndrome. Today we'll be operating on a patient who has been diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome after experiencing numbness and weakness in the palm of his hand and thumb. Now let's put on our gloves and get started. The limited open carpal tunnel release surgery is performed using a local anesthetic that numbs the carpal tunnel area of the hand and wrist. If a patient is nervous or uncomfortable, I'll sometimes use a sedative as well. A sedative is a drug given through an IV that places the patient in a dreamlike state. However, our patient today will only receive the local anesthetic. Go ahead and get the operating area numb. Okay. So, just like with the gallbladder procedure, I know someone who's had the carpal tunnel procedure. Shout out to them. Oh! And uh, on that note, they were involved with um, a lot of leatherworking, um, carpentry work. A lot of uh, they made a lot of amazing things with their hands. Ah, oh, that needle going to the skin. Uh. <laughs> uh, so they had to have this procedure. With the wrist anesthetized, we can now begin the operation. I've already tied a tourniquet around the patient's upper arm. Can you go ahead and outline where we'll be making our incision? That's interesting. They made the uh, skin a little pale. Okay, trace. Well, that's not the best tracing. Okay. Looks good to me. <laughs> we'll be making a three-quarter inch incision at the intersection of those lines. Now take the scalpel and make the incision. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. Nice. I couldn't have done it better myself. Oof. Now we'll spread the incision wider to expose the transverse carpal ligament. Oh, no. This band of tissue is the cause of the problems. Place the retractors into the incision and spread it open. Oh, no, I don't want to do this. I think you're a natural <sighs> at this. <sighs> Okay. With the transverse carpal ligament exposed, I'll need you to slip a carpal tunnel guide into the incision. This is a blunt tipped instrument with a groove on the upper surface to accommodate a special knife. The carpal what? tunnel guide is placed down the carpal tunnel and underneath the ligament and is used to protect the underlying nerve and tendons. Okay. Go ahead and push the carpal tunnel guide into place. Oh! oh. 
Once it's in position, you'll advance our special knife down the guide to split the carpal ligament. As you push the knife forward, you will feel it cutting through the carpal ligament. Oh. It wasn't that bad. Perfect. With the transverse carpal ligament cut, the median nerve is no longer inflamed. Now we can begin to clean and close the incision. Go ahead and irrigate the wound. Okay. When you're finished, I'll release the tourniquet, allowing blood to flow back into the hand. Great. Now you'll close the wound using non-absorbable sutures. Okay, sutures. It's doing that pretty quickly. With the wound closed, we'll inject additional numbing medicine around the operating site to help relieve some of the immediate pain the patient may feel after surgery. Ugh, you won't be able to feel your hand for a while, dude. Ugh. The weird thing is, I have no problem with needles, but just. Uh, a sound effect plus seeing the needle go under the skin just gives me shivers. And lastly, we'll place a small dressing over the wound to absorb any residual blood. Okay. There you go. Patch you up. We'll immobilize the wrist with a splint and a sling, and after one to three hours, our patient is sent home to recover. Our patient needs to keep in mind that because of some of the medications we used, he may experience a bit of nausea. He will also be given pain medication to help relieve the discomfort he'll feel in his wrist. Once our patient returns home, he'll be asked to follow specific instructions for driving, exercise, and medication. This will include keeping his hand elevated above his heart for the first few days after surgery. About two weeks after surgery, we'll remove our patient's stitches, and he'll be gradually allowed to return to his normal routines in four to six weeks. And that's a limited open carpal tunnel release surgery. Thanks for stopping by. Why not try out some of the other amazing surgeries here on SurgeonSquad.com? <laughs> I don't know if that's a, a misnumber or not. But yeah, on Surgery Squad, uh, there's how to cook a turkey. Okay. <laughs> and we also have silicone breast implants. But that is it for now. Um, that wasn't as... Okay, I'm not going to lie. That was worse than the gallbladder surgery because I'm pretty sure you all can look at your hands and imagine what that must feel like. So, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.